Speaker of the National Assembly, Nosi Viwe Mapisa Nagula, says she's applying her mind to a request for the President, Sol Ramaphosa, to appear in Parliament to answer questions about the Palapala Pala farm robbery that took place at a farm that he owns in 2020. There have been allegations that the President was part of a cover-up on that score and that millions of dollars were stolen in hard cash. The President has so far refused to confirm the amount that was taken, saying only that Indeed, a robbery did take place in 2020. He says it was reported to, a police, uh, uh, to police and that it was not a cover-up, but the DA is not satisfied. It's in fact requested that Parliament set up an ad hoc committee to look into the issue and the conduct of the President. Let's bring in our reporter, Atim Tongan, alive for us in Cape Town. Ati, what more has the Office of the Speaker been telling you? Well, to put it frankly, Temekile, the uh, parliamentary speaker, particularly for the National Assembly, Nosivuya Mapisa Ngagula, has been tight-lipped about what exactly Parliament will be doing with regards to the request that not only came from the Democratic Alliance, it's just that now she has recently responded to a request by the Democratic Alliance asking Parliament to set up an ad hoc committee that would essentially investigate the President and the whole robbery that took place at his farm and just the issue around the conduct of the president because they have been saying as the official opposition party that the president has been in breach of the uh, ethics code and so essentially that's what uh, the Democratic Alliance is asking Parliament to do and it's not only the DA uh, Timbergale, it's also the ATM that also wrote to the Speaker of the National Assembly requesting a section 89 committee similar to that one that is currently taking place in relation to the public protector who's now suspended. The UDM also wrote to the Speaker about this matter so three opposition parties in Parliament, the Democratic Alliance, the UDM and the uh, ATM I'm writing to the Speaker about this particular robbery at President Cyril Ramaphosa's farm. She has previously declined those requests from the ATM and the UDM respectively. But looking at her response to the DA's letter, she says that she's still applying her mind and that the parliamentary legal services is now looking into how Parliament can actually work and process uh, some of these requests, particularly from the Democratic Alliance which has the most recent request. Now, it's very important to look and track at how Parliament will be dealing with this particular issue, given the findings of the Zonda Commission, which found that Parliament had been lacking in making sure that they hold members of the executive accountable. Some of the findings by the Zonda Commission speak to Parliament forming a committee that would then play an oversight role, particularly when it comes to issues pertaining to the presidency and the president. And so these calls that are mounting from opposition parties not only stem from them wanting answers from the president about what happened at his uh, farm, but they also want to make sure that they cover their tracks in making sure that they do what they're supposed to do in as far as their constitutional role and in as far as trying to make sure that they're coming out to actually implement the recommendations of the Zonda Commission by holding members of the executive, including the president, accountable. Atim Tongana, thank you very much for that live update from Cape Town this lunchtime.